Uh, I just put this in real quick because I want to mention this. This is about Ambernick. Some shit has gone down. Oh, Their yeah. New RG 40XX. Okay. Walk me through this. Okay. Their new device, the RG 40XX, I think it's called. No, this is 35XX. I don't know. Ambernick has a bunch of consoles. They're, they're the emulation guys, the yes. emulation handheld guys. Yes. All of their consoles, if you buy them from Ambernick, uh, I'm pretty sure all of them come with games on them. Uh, I don't like that. In my video about this device, I will talk more about that. But uh, I wish they didn't come with games because yeah. uh, we can very easily just put the games on them ourselves. I think that including games in the purchase that you know they're not paying licensing fees for mm -hmm. uh, is a great way to ruin the whole industry. Yeah, you're you're making emulation more synonymous with piracy, and uh, you're gonna get sued, and it's gonna go downhill for everybody. Right. Uh, they kind of got a pass. All these emulation companies kind of got a pass because these games are old. Yeah, and a lot of these games are unavailable. So people kind of just turned a blind eye to it. Yeah. Uh turns out uh the firmware so so you can download the stock firmware for all of their devices. Yeah. And the firmware now just comes with all of the games. So you can mm -hmm. go to Ambernick's website and just fucking download games. Yeah. It's like kind of really bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you would unpack it from the firmware without having a device, but still uh it was found on their uh website i think it was the firmware for the 40xx um yeah this is what i found this is a, a tweet by joey's retro handhelds ambernick is now including actual ports of modern games in the latest update uh, this is for the rg35xx h which is not one that i that i've messed with right uh ports running using portmaster this is not a good thing at all uh, so there are ports of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, uh, Celeste, and Grand Theft Auto 3, and uh, Stardew, Stardew Valley. Valley. Yeah, That's four different games that are modern games that are available currently on, base on a lot of devices, mm -hmm. uh, and they're just pirating them and, give and selling them themselves, mm -hmm. which is fucked up. So Portmaster is a way that you can get uh, Linux games to run on these handhelds. So you get like the Linux version from your Steam library yeah. or something and you can, you can put it on these handhelds. Uh, so this is Ambernick's way of sort of showing off how you could do this. But yeah. it, in doing that, they just straight up are giving it to people. So uh, that was a little bit of a controversy because I saw that and I was like, that's not good. I don't like yeah. how they're, they're doing this, especially with modern consoles. This is how you're going to ruin the industry for everybody. Today, I randomly got an email mm -hmm. because they're sending me the new one, the four or whatever. Yeah. And randomly, they just emailed me and said, by the way, uh, note that these three games, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shovel Knight and Celeste, I actually didn't realize that Shovel Knight was part of it, uh, are only available in the review samples and the actual shipped machines do not have these three games. Therefore, there's no need to display them during your review videos. Thank you. So I was like, okay, apparently it's only in the review samples. Yeah. Uh, and then Joey's Retro Handheld responded and said, yeah, that's rich given that they have this showing to contact them for the firmware and they have this showing that GTA and Stardew are in the games list. So they're full of shit. Like th yeah. th this what might end up making it to retail units. Also, Joey brings up a good point. Uh, they recently lied about the uh, RG cube that they released. Yeah. The screen was broken and they said, oh, that's only for reviewers. We sent them bad units, but also a bunch of uh, consumers who bought the console had bad faulty yeah. units too. Uh, and that wasn't the only time they've lied. Somebody else said, brought up some other cases. Um, so they're not very trustworthy. No. So, I also don't understand why they say uh, these three games are only available in the review sample. Therefore, there is no need to display them in your review. That was another thing people were commenting on. Like, uh, why send them then in the first yeah. place? This seems like, 
I mean, they could argue that this is a way to just show off that you can port games. Mm-hmm. And they just, it's easy. I won't have to do it myself because I wouldn't have. Uh, yeah. I, I probably wouldn't have put Celeste on my, um, I, I probably wouldn't have gone through the trouble of porting it. I think for Celeste specifically, you need like the Humble Bundle version or something yeah. weird. Um, but I don't believe them. I think that uh, th- this is going to go down very badly for a lot of for for everybody yeah this is good they're they're flying too close to the sun they're taking oh, too away too much i absolutely. mean they're a chinese company so they're able to get away with a lot of skirting ip laws and stuff but something's gonna go down and it's gonna be really bad uh especially taking modern games like this mm-hmm. so that's that. Uh, we'll see when the uh, system comes out and what people get in their hands. I'd imagine that they are probably going to get some of these games, but uh, I'll talk more about it in a video uh, when I do get this in my hand mm-hmm. and start playing with it. Anyway. Uh, Stardy says, they were in the 64 gigabyte firmware download, not the 16 gigabyte download. They took down the 64 gigabyte version a few days ago, but it's still widely circulated. Oh, so it's not on their side anymore. I mean, Joey Retro Handheld seems to think that it was still on their side. Oh, you know what? What probably happened was this was going to be in the retail release. They mm-hmm. got caught, and now they're they're backstepping. Right. Probably too late, though. If they have a bunch of batches, it's yeah. probably going to end up in the first batch. Um. 